Hey guys, it's Christina Marie with Cruise Tips with Christina, and today I'm going to cover embarkation day tips for Holland America Cruise Line. So I'm going to go through how to make embarkation a seamless process for you. And if, by the way, if any time during this video you think it's helpful, please hit that subscribe button below. Okay, so the first embarkation day tip is to arrive early at the city that you are living from. So my recommendation is arrive by 11 a.m. So if you are flying into the place, like my mom and I frequently leave from Holland America in Fort Lauderdale, cruise port. We always make sure that we catch an 8 a.m. flight. I happen to live in Atlanta that is direct and that we arrive by 11 a.m because you never know if your flight's gonna be delayed two hours and the last thing that you want to do is miss your cruise ship and have your vacation canceled. So first thing for embarkation day tips is you don't wanna be stressed out, make sure to arrive early. Um, this is especially true in the winter time. If you are flying in from somewhere where it might snow or somewhere where you have a layover, things happen with airlines, make sure that you book a direct flight and arrive by 11 a.m. If for some reason you cannot get in that early or you don't wanna take a 5 a.m. flight, I get you. In that case, I highly recommend you fly in the day ahead of time and just get a hotel. Um, it is totally worth it not to be stressed out and you can start your cruise vacation a day early. If you don't know what hotel to stay at, um, I can provide a recommendation for you. Just provide a comment below and I will give you two recommendations for an affordable hotel near the cruise port terminal that you will be leaving from on a Holland America cruise ship. So that's tip number one for embarkation day is just arrive early. Do not get stressed out. The second tip is print your documents ahead of time. Make sure that you print them before you leave home, or if you are staying at a hotel, print your documents. You will need to print your boarding pass for Holland America Cruise Line, and you will need to print your luggage tags. Um, I don't think you can get it, maybe you can get it on the Navigator app, but I feel like every time I've gone through security before boarding a Holland America cruise ship, they wanna see your documents. So print them out ahead of time, print your boarding pass, as well as your luggage tags. Even if you will be carrying your luggage onto the cruise ship, print your luggage tags because it has your room number on it and it's just helpful to have. The third tip for a seamless embarkation day process is Uber to the cruise terminal or take Lyft. Do not use the airport shuttles or do not pay extra for a Holland America cruise shuttle. Um, they're always really, really crowded. You have to wait on other people, which is kind of stressful. And it's usually more expensive, not usually. In my experience, it is always, always, always more expensive to do a shuttle than to just pay for an Uber. Also, it's just less stressful. Um, you can leave at a time that's convenient for you. So if you're ready to leave your hotel at 11 a.m., call the Uber at 11. If you're ready at 11.10, call the Uber at 11.10. Same thing with arriving from the airport and going directly to your Holland America cruise ship. Just call Uber. Um, that is my recommendation. It takes lots of stress off of you and it's cheaper anyway. Tip number four for a smooth, seamless embarkation day on Holland America cruise ships. And please, P.S please subscribe below. Um, tip number four is have your passport out. Um, have your passport out. You will need it when you go through um, the cruise like main check-in point, driving into the cruise terminal with all the different cruise ships. And you will need it as well when you go through security for Holland America. So have your passport out in handy. 
Don't pack it at the bottom of your suitcase and don't forget it. Um, one time I forgot my passport and somehow I was still able to get onto the cruise ship because they were very, very sweet. But do not forget your passport. So that's tip number four for a seamless, smooth embarkation. Tip number five is arrive at the Holland America cruise terminal early or just the cruise terminal in general. So I don't know the exact time that Holland America begins letting people on the boat because my mom is a four star mariner. So we get on early. We actually board, they start boarding people onto the cruise ship before the listed time. So you can arrive early. I would recommend leaving for the terminal, try to get there before 1130. And here's why. One, the line for security, the main line that every single passenger going on any cruise ship is very, very long around like 1 p.m. So plan on getting to your cruise terminal at like 1130. So I would recommend leave early, leave early so that there's no lines at the security checkpoint. Um, don't leave late because you don't want to be stressed out about missing the cruise ship. Plus, there's lots of things to do on embarkation day, which I'll include a video below more about embarkation day tips. But um, just leave early. Plan to be one of the first people to board the cruise ship. That will just be way, way stressful. Okay, tip number six for Holland America embarkation day is decide whether you want to bring your luggage on or leave it with the, I don't know what they're called. It's not a bellhop or leave it with the people outside the cruise terminal. So my mom and I personally, we have great rolling suitcases from Samsung and we just pull our luggage onto the cruise ship with us. Um, we like doing this because then we can start unpacking right away like we get on the cruise ship we have a couple of things that we do and then before dinner we can start unpacking all of our stuff and like fully be settled in so that's the benefit of bringing the luggage with you onto the cruise ship also another benefit is if you want to change your clothes or anything like that you have everything with you um, or you can also just not carry your luggage on with you. You swap those luggage tags on them and they will deliver your luggage to your stateroom. Now, tip, the luggage might not arrive until 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. It depends on how busy they are. So if you plan ahead, this is okay, but just know that if you give them your luggage, you might not get it until after dinner time. Okay. Tip number seven for a smooth embarkation day on Holland America Cruise Lines is to bring a day bag with you. So if you are not, if you are going to check your luggage with them and have them deliver it to your stateroom, I would pack a small little duffel bag with things that you might want throughout the day. For example, you might want a swimsuit to go to the pool. You might want a sweater in case it gets cold. You might want to change out of your clothes into something else for dinner. Now, the first day on Holland America cruise ships is a come as you are dinner, so you can wear whatever you want. But I would just, if you, I don't know, I usually don't wear shorts to dinner. So um, if you do wanna change for dinner, bring something else in a small little duffel bag. Maybe you wanna bring a water bottle with you. Whatever you need, put it in your day bag. Like sunscreen, that's a definite thing that you wanna bring. Okay, um, tip number eight for a smooth embarkation process is prepare to wait a little bit. So just mentally know that when you get to the Holland America Cruise Terminal, which by the way, they don't always say which cruise terminal you're leaving from. Like even when I look online trying to find it, I can't find it. You just have to wait until you are driving up to the cruise terminal and you read the signs above to find what number you are. Um, but anyway, once you get to the cruise terminal for Holland America and you give them the luggage or you go through security with it, you have them look at your boarding pass, 
your passport, you smile at the camera, all of that good stuff. Then they will have a big, big room for you to wait in before you can actually board the Holland America cruise ship. So I would just recommend you prepare to wait. They will give you a number and then they board people by boarding zone. Um, I've honestly never waited, so I can't tell you how long the wait is because my mom's a four-star mariner. Um, so we always just get a board right away. Same thing if you are an Orange Club member or I think if you're staying in one of the really fancy staterooms, you also don't have to wait to board the cruise ship. But make sure you tell them. Make sure you tell them actually before you go through security because I have gone with my mom and they're like, oh, go in that line. And then I'll say, oh, but we're four star Mariners. And they'll say, oh, go in that line. So make sure you tell them if you're a four or five star Mariner, if you're an orange club member, or if you're staying in one of the pinnacle class suites, Neptune suites, fancy suites, tell them because you might get a faster line and you might get to board sooner. But um, make sure you are, if you're not one of those special people, I shouldn't say if you're not one of those special people, if you are not in that group, then just prepare to wait a little bit in a big room, bring a crossword puzzle, bring Sudoku, I don't know, do games on your phone, read a book, just prepare mentally to wait a little bit before you can get on Holland America cruise ships. Also, if you get hungry, bring a snack. They used to have cookies and drinks, like, lemonade and they don't have that anymore sadly so bring that if you get hungry while waiting to board the ship okay tip number five for embarkation day or not embarkation day but like a smooth embarkation process is smile for the camera so when you are checking in it's actually really really easy to go through the actual check-in process of like saying yes i'm here you literally just smile at a camera and it's like, okay, you're here, Christina's here, board the Holland America cruise ship. Um, but just know that they will take your picture. Um, so smile for the camera right before you board the cruise ship. Um, you can pose for a camera, which will then download to the Navigator app, which is kind of fun. So prepare to smile for the camera. Of course, you can skip um, the actual like photo that you can then buy later if you want, but my mom and I always do that just because it's fun. Okay, and then tip number 10 for a smooth embarkation day is to watch my other video, which I think is gonna be in this corner. I'll include it. It covers embarkation day tips once you get on the ship. So there are a few things that you wanna do right when you get on the ship, like securing your dinner table, making any dinner reservations, um, on having the fridge cleaned out if you're like me and you want to put snacks in it. So watch that video on embarkation day tips because this video covered the embarkation process on Holland America, but then you wanna go in and check out those tips. And again, if you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe below, share any tips that you've learned about embarkation on Holland America. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll help you out. Okay, now let's wrap this up with a summary of how to have a soon, smooth, soon, smooth, seamless embarkation with Holland America Cruise Line Cruises. Okay, tip number one was arrive early. So if you are booking a flight, book a direct flight, make sure that it arrives by 11 a.m. or book a hotel and arrive a day ahead of time. Two is print your documents, print your boarding pass, print your luggage tags. Three is take an Uber to the cruise terminal, not a shuttle. Four is have your passport out in handy. Five is arrive at the terminal early. Um, you can probably board the ship before the listed time and you don't want long lines, so arrive early. We usually arrive by before 11.30 a.m. Six is decide whether you wanna check your luggage with them or bring it on the ship yourself. Seven is if you are dropping them, if you are giving them your luggage, have a day bag. Eight is prepare to wait a little bit before getting on the actual ship. And if you are 
four or five star marinara in Orange Club or in one of the fancy suites, let them know so that they will cut the line for you. Nine is smile for the camera, just because I like to smile. And 10 is check out my other video, which I'll list above. All right, um, thanks again and have a fantastic day and I hope you enjoy your cruise.